Ahoy Hardcore Gamers and welcome back to Sunday Fun Day where today we play a bit of Northgard which is a Viking strategy strategy game which has a bit of base building, a bit of a survival, a bit of combat, a bit of lore thrown in, slight mythical side of things. So you have some diplomacy, you've got some trading. It's a really good game, a really well-made strategy game. It's got a bit of everything you may ever want. Um, and it's quite difficult. Uh, this this game itself is a very long match uh, of me playing a skirmish, and annoyingly, things don't go to plan. Um, but it's been a, it was a really good game. Really do enjoy this. So hope you stick around and let's get into the action. And hello there. Uh, this is Northgard, and we will be playing through a single player skirmish map uh, but before we jump into that we're going to go through really what this game has to offer because uh, it's not just a strategy game um, it's well it's a strategy game believe it or not but it hasn't just got skirmishes and the bob standard multiplayer where you play against other players it's not just a story game it's got loads of other things to offer so before we jump in let's have a look so we can start from the bottom of these options here so you've got a load of treasures um, so while playing the game, you unlock silver bars. There are silver bars. By doing certain achievements, you can unlock different cosmetics for your buildings. It's pretty cool. But it's if you're into that type of stuff, I don't tend to really care too much. Your expeditions, which is essentially a, a daily, monthly goals that you can do. By doing these goals, doing little, um, little mini achievements, you unlock different things you here you can unlock chests or you can unlock silver which you can you spend on uh, treasures you've got a creative mode you can make a map you can uh, install mods get mods pretty cool uh, conquest mode is pretty cool as well so you conquest is essentially a uh, you're fight you're fighting through different maps but, but it's dependent on your clan let's say I'll just show you this so here this is completely dependent on my clan, and the clan I've chosen is the clan of the uh, I think it's squirrel. I think I chose. Each one of these, you choose a victory condition. So here, um, the special rules for this one here is fox burrows replace the wolves dens. So it had every single one of these different maps that you can go through. The special rules change, and they adapt to what clan you're playing. However, once you complete it, you get to choose your bonus. Some you can choose different types of bonuses. It's this one here, there's three different bonuses you can choose from. This one is free. So as you play through, you're progressively getting harder and harder until you finish the last match, map. In, um, so you can, it is quite difficult. At every clan it's different. And every time you play through this, the conquest will change slightly because the map is always randomly generated. Uh, so the first bonus I'll get here, so let's say I finish this map with this clan. I'll start with deer on your starting zone and hunters produce 10% more meat. So it's quite, so you'll gain that and you'll keep that throughout your, um, you'll keep that throughout this conquest. Um, you can play, you can do conquest with friends, you can do a co-op on that. But story mode, you've got two different stories. You've got the story of essentially the, the, the Vikings um, which is Riga's Saga, and you've got Cross of Vidar, which is the Southern Kingdoms, which essentially um, kind of, I think it's French or British that you get to play as, like old, old school, <laughs> not, not the modern French or British, because you don't want to be running around for a load of baguettes. Um, but yeah, so that's the story mode, it's just a story mode. It's, it's a good story, don't get me wrong, uh, but at the end of the day, it's just a story. Uh, you've got multiplayer, you can search for lobbies, multiplayer is multiplayer. You get a uh, set amount of points when you play multiplayer and you also can your crest upgrades depends on how far you get a multiplayer i played a couple games not really for me i like playing these gate types of games but not so much as a multiplayer against other players so we're going to look at single player here we go so name i don't really care much about my name uh color yep so i'll go for the clans in a second so i'm going to go for a large map normal difficulty we're going to stay as red You've got all these different clans. There's a lot of them. I've got, I think I've got all of them unlocked. Yeah, I have got all of them unlocked, fine. Uh, so each of them have their own bonuses. So you see on the left here, there is uh, a lot of clans you can choose from. All of them are unique. 
and on the right here it tells you what all of the clan details are uh, so there's a lot to take in here but it's not a lot to learn it's just a lot of information uh, it tells you at the top here how good this um, essentially the clan is so this the clan of the stoat uh, requires a lot it's quite difficult to learn but the development supports good military is not the best clan of the lion once again not much support good military not too difficult to learn so for this i'm going to go for because i i've essentially stopped i carried on supporting the game and buying all of the clans as they came out but i stopped playing when the clan of the clan of the kraken came out so i really like the kraken um, however, this is when I stopped playing. Uh, There's no particular reason. I just just stopped playing with my friends. Um, however, these all these other um, three, six, these other seven clans, I've not touched. Um, Clan of the Dragons, good. Um, it's really so they're all kind of they all have their own different focus. Clan of the Dragon is really a, really all about being aggressive. Uh, Clan of the Bear is cool. You get this, um, yeah, a, a bear as your um, Sanji that defends your territory really good unit um but yeah i will not be playing as those however i'll just play as random clan let's just jump straight into this so enough of this rambling for the last five minutes talking about the game let's just let's give this a go i'm not gonna say whether i'm gonna win or not i don't know how many ai i've just chosen i'm on a medium-sized map I believe it was or large um the maps can get quite big but as we get into this, I'll explain what the game is and how the game is. So I think I'm playing as the clan of the Lynx. I think that's the, the Lynx's um, logo, of, if you want to call it a logo. So this is the game. Uh, first thing you want to essentially build is Scout Camp. And then you want to build... Well, you, you can build anything after a Scout Camp. So the way the game works is you have these tiles. These tiles essentially denote what you have. So this is my border. You need to increase your border you need to explore so the first thing you need to do is build a scout camp so you build a scout camp that will make a scout so you have everything about this game is, is about managing your civilization managing your people so this is your town hall if this break if this is destroyed you lose the game over time you will gain villagers the speed at which you gain villagers is based on your happiness of your people your happiness, you can get that up. So happiness is up here on, on the top. You can gain more happiness by doing by having certain buildings or certain uh, items or certain characters. You can see several tips. Don't need them. Uh, you can see what uh, what gives you more or less a happiness by going into this build menu. You can hover over certain things. They'll tell you what they give you. Uh, so happiness you get from the brewery just up here. Uh, just looking what else I can do. Um, so that's really that to start off with. So really, to start, that is the basics. Uh, once, if you have villagers inside a tile and there's nothing for them to do, there is a, if it's inside the town hall, where the town hall, if it's the same tile as the town hall, they'll automatically gather food. You see up here I'm gathering nine food. So they'll gather food automatically. So the idea of this is to slowly expand. How do you expand, you ask? Good question. Uh, to expand, all you need to do is find a tile. So I, I click on this tile. What has this tile got? In the bottom right, it will tell me what the tile has. So it has enough room for three buildings. It has wheat, so therefore it has more food. It has one law. The law is this room step. This tile over here has meat because it's got some deer on it. It's got iron, but it's also got a building. It has the ability for me to be, build three buildings. But the only problem with this is two wolves. I can't colonize, so I can't take this tile until these, those wolves are dealt with. So, how do you deal with wolves, you asked? You ask. So, to deal with wolves, you need to build a training camp. However, I always go for range, so. I'll be building that training camp now, and I'm gonna let them just build it. If you build it in a, if you build anything in a tile, and there's nothing else for the, your builders to do, they'll automatically go and build that building. So at the moment these guys are just gathering food, there's nothing else for them to do, so they're going to go and build the building automatically. So I'm going to build this archery range. 
So let's go for the resources. So you've got the happiness up here. Happiness directly influences your population. Your food is obviously is food. To get that, you obviously need to, to go get some stuff like wheat. Uh, here there's fish. You can get fish to get food. Um, let's get this tracker out and go and take out these two wolves. Um, when you build a building, each building has a essentially a population. So this this um, woodcutter's lodge. Let's kill that one. Okay. Move move back in. Uh, this woodcutter's lodge can have two people in it. Uh, so I've assigned one person in it, and they're collecting wood for me now. You can see the uh, it's gone from minus one to plus three wood. In crowns is obviously gold, stone, and iron. And then you've got population, and then your war band. Warband is de de determined on your, um, what's it called? Warband is determined on how many of these buildings you've got. Uh, here I can grab, I don't have enough gold for the other one. So I've automatically gone into, uh, built this second location. So I want this healer's hut. Because uh, at the moment I, I have this one hunter, but I can't do much with him. Because he's now been injured, so you've got his health here. To upgrade, um, I will go through healing in a second. You will get when you've got enemies around you as well. You'll randomly get attacked, so it's good to have um, your villagers will always fight, but it's good to have some form of fallback. I'm still waiting for enough, so I can now build the healer's hut. I'm gonna steal one villager from another tile and bring them across, because when they're in different tiles, they won't automatically assist. Now I've got a good income of food. Well, I've got a good amount of food, so I'm going to colonise this tile here as well. I'll explain why in a second. Um, so this, the special... Um, okay. You have done that. Uh, I'll colonise this tile relatively quickly because it has this ruin. Ruins have a chance to give you money or fame. Uh, we'll go through fame in a second. So I built this healer's hut. The idea of a healer's hut is the healer will heal any of your troops that are within your borders. So if they're not in your borders, they're not going to get healed. Um, obviously your borders are your coloured area. Uh, let's see what I can get. Let's go for the great hunt there. Um, so once my Lynx and my hunter are fully healed. I will send them out and I'll start securing some more areas. So I want this shipwreck here. I want this zone here because there's a shipwreck. The shipwreck will allow me to explore. It's just another location I can explore, likely with this one. This rune stone here is really useful. There is a thing called lore in the game. Lore is essentially research for your faction. Um, most of the research points are identical for each faction. You've got these little ones which have your clan location next to it, or your clan um, icon. These are the ones that are unique to your clan. Uh, so that is all of the stats up here. Got to keep an eye on your population as well, um, for obvious reasons. Because um, if you can't, if you don't have enough population, uh, you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to do certain things. Uh, so where are we now? So you've got victory conditions up here as well. So I ideally I wanted to go for domination, but I forgot to turn all the others off. You have other things called fame. To get in certain levels of fame um, allows you to do certain things. So here, fame bonuses. If you get 200 fame, you unlock the first bonus. If you get 500 fame, you unlock the second bonus. So if you want to know about what your clan bonuses are, you just hover over your clan name in the top left and it'll tell you what your new clan bonus or your clan bonuses are. So I've just finished searching this um, with, with that and I've gained 100 gold and 50 lore. So now I've got the lore. Um, so now with this lore, I can choose what I want to. Um, do I want to upgrade? So the first point is always, I think it's like 50. Second point is 100. They say so they go up over time. Once you get enough knowledge, so once you unlock enough, you can then choose these blessings down here. 
So now I can now get the second cat out. Ooh, you're just a tracker. Okay, fine. So I can get the second cat out. So I've got the both cats. I'll, and now I need 150 so I can pay for essentially their their owner. Someone's discovered a wyvern dent. So the wyvern you kind of want to avoid if you can. You, if you can. Okay, the cats are doing a lot of damage. Um, so I'm going to move my hunter back into the first location. I'm going to build a house. So later on you can actually upgrade your houses. Uh, at the moment I don't have the money to do that. Or the ability to do that. Um, so now I want to go for... Oh, just kind of, kind of a tough one. Let's go for this one. Uh, you can organise down here in the bottom left, uh, bottom right, you can organise feasts. Uh, feasts just increase your production of everything. So I've uh, organised a feast, they cost food, and over time they'll cost more and more food as you go along. Um, they just, they, essentially they just um, increase your production of everything, which is really useful. Um, so as I use the feast, I should, I will be able to survive the winter. I'm just going to move another guy onto the... Um, Another guy onto the wood cutting location, so I'm getting more wood, getting more food. I'm going to slowly colonise with my two cats, uh, using them essentially as my uh, my army. I have got this. I will be able to get this law soon for colonisation, which allows me to. It's slightly. It's essentially cheaper colonisation, cheaper to continue to expand. As you expand, when you reach borders with your enemy. It, it kind of becomes almost like a stalemate. It's, e it's relatively easy to defend on this, especially when you're against AI, because you can kind of cheese them a little bit. But I'll go for that later on when I get there. So on this bottom right, you can see all of your warband. You can see all of your civilians. So you can see what you're missing. If you if you find out one of your characters has died, but you don't know what died, you'll be like, oh, I'm now I now have zero sailors. Therefore, it must have been a dock or something along those lines so you can figure out what who died or what died hunters tools improved improvement is free fine so it'd be good to have a hunter's location sometimes but i'm trying to work something out so you can build defensive towers as well to defend your base uh, they're relatively good but i normally only use them in choke points because they're quite expensive um so a nice choke point may be this here. Well, it won't be because I can come up here. But a choke point may be this tile here or this tile here. Um, but until I search more of the map, I don't know where the choke points are. I'm going to try and join winter, try and avoid uh, attacking out as well. Actually, you have a slight um, disadvantage when fighting the winter. So I need 150 for this woman. I don't don't know how good she is um i can't remember i need 150 um coins for her so really it's now a bit of a waiting game I'm waiting for winter to end so i can continue to explore uh, what i'm missing the most now is food and wood i can do more of a production on each i'm also i can get a long ship dock so i intend to get that now so if I can take one person to go over here, I can build this dock. And colonization, there we go. So it's cheaper now for me to colonize and continue to expand. The reason why I've gone for a dock is, it, there we go. So I've got a load of wood from that and a load of crowns. So that allows me to get the this lady out. So now we can go and well, colonize, go and travel with these these three. I'll keep my healer here. It's one of the clans, I can't remember what clan it is. They have their healer over time. So when the healer's not being used, you can actually heal forage for you. Uh, I think he either forages or he, he gets gold for you. He does, he does something that's relatively good. I want this tile relatively quickly because it has a forest here. Uh, and the forest allows you to um, it increases your production of woodcutting. So now I've got it, I can build a uh, 
Where is it? Da, 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 da. Woodcutter's Lodge. And move one guy down here. Then I can move a woodcutter down here, ready to take over. Uh, so I've got my next... Uh, so when they're in the same zone, they heal each other. And they give... Okay, that's, that's pretty good. So the idea of, um, I believe the idea of this kind of clan is that you've got your, your, um, you just upgrade your cat and your, um, since you're a leader, your war chief, which is this lady, uh, from my understanding. So longship docks allows you to choose, normally allows you to choose between fame and money when they go out, but at that time it didn't let me choose it for some reason, but it's not the end of the world. So now this is completed. My woodcut in production has increased substantially. So now I've got a decent woodcut in. I can now look at building another house just here. Nope, I'm not going to build that there. I'm going to build another house uh, on this tile here. And I'm going to build a wheat farm on this tile here. I'm going to move you to build that. And now I'm going to move two of you to go and build this. So that has us in relatively good stead. Fair enough, we're now currently losing food. But it's only because I've moved people out of this first tile. Um, and they're no longer passively gaining food. But once I've built this, uh, it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, let's grab my team. What's this? Okay, I can sacrifice them, apparently. Um, so I'd like to take this den. There is when you're playing as well. So I haven't mentioned these yet. Uh, so this is a new mechanic that people do tell tells you when your next follower will join you. That's good. I wasn't there before. Um, you on? Okay, you guys go in the farm. You finish building that. You can build a mine. So they've already lost. To the clan, the, ra um, the Raven clan has already lost. Uh, so they've been defeated, which is good for us. I've got a random sheep. Having a sheep, at least one sheep in the zone, reduces firewood during winter. So they're good to have in your your main location. And I'm just going to keep colonising, keep pushing. Um, so you build a mine, you can um, obviously mine these rocks. There you go. So that's given me some more fame and some automatically given me some more stone. I normally have one mine going at a time because it says there is no rush for your stone and iron. So I just have one mine rotating around. Where it is located doesn't really matter. We get uh, spoils are plenty. So now I've got my first. So I've unlocked mythical lore ability for my war chief. Once placed, it purely attracts uh, mythical beasts to the zone. More time uh, as it passes, each cleared wave increases the size of the next one. Um, so that's quite good. So I'm going to put a. I'm trying to think. So this is going to be a really good choke point. So I need you to discover up here quickly. Okay. So my scout's injured. So what I'm going to do if my scout's injured is send him back to base, make him a normal villager again, so he can reheal, and then I'll just grab a new, turn some of you into a scout. Because uh, ideally you don't want to lose your your uh, your troops. So I'm reason why I'm pushing here as well. So this is a this is thick fawns printed anything from Parson except the most agile of men. So this is quite difficult for the enemy to push through. Well, they, well, they, they can't push through it. Um, so that means that this is a choke point. So they have to come through here or they have to come through this tile here. So if I can at least secure one and I'll get a, a tower there built as soon as possible. So I'll send someone down to build the tower. Once they've built the tower, they can then occupy this 
which gives them more law. Um, gives more law than that, so you can go over here. Our first was first. We had an earthquake, therefore loads of our buildings just got damaged, so I just need to go repair everything. Once everything's repaired, uh, we'll be able to continue to expand. If you look, my food has dropped, my food income. So I'm now going to build a hunter's lodge up here. And then send some people up there. Send two up there for that hunter's lodge. My happiness isn't the highest either. Um, but it's, it's kind of like a swing, uh, swings and roundabouts. Like you can't please everyone. You just kind of have to just make do as you play. And uh, hopefully I have one spare villager I can quickly steal. And send you over here. So once this is complete, obviously I'm getting a negative amount of food at the moment. Once this is complete, I'll have two more uh, villagers doing hunting. There you go, lodge is complete. Uh, I can get both villages into the hunting lodge and this should increase it substantially. Yeah, there we go. Increased it by five. Please increased it by ten. So now I've got my, my team ready. I've got a defend defendable tower here. I need to upgrade my town hall. So town hall. Um, so most buildings in this you can upgrade. When you upgrade a building, it essentially gives you a plus one of whatever it gave you. So woodcutting house, a uh, woodcutting lodge currently has two people that can work in there. But upgrade it, it will have a third, and it gives you a slight bonus. But before you can upgrade anything, you have to upgrade your town hall first. And then upgrade with the town hall. And you know, let them do that while I continue to push out. So the town hall is now upgraded, which is great. go so that's all that's cleared so i'll be able to take these zones obviously i have i don't have an abundance of food at the moment but i'm not far off um there you go. go for sibling rivalry so my my cats are as strong as they can be and i'm going to move these back into this so i can't remember where my scout has gone so if i just click Um, it's a sailor. Where did my scout go? Okay, I don't have a scout. So I'm going to just turn someone into a scout. Not sure what happened to them. Scouts don't are not affected by like um, like combat. So if, you've, if you're risking, like if there's an enemy army in an area, uh, the scouts won't um, get involved. Uh, so recruitment permanently increases your population growth speed. Which is really good. Which I'll go for next. So anything that can help you uh, gain more recruitment or faster recruitment or happiness tends to be the play, at least in my opinion. Main reason why I upgraded my town hall as well is so I can upgrade this defensive tower as well. So I want my defensive towers on the front line. So this one, this tile here, when I capture this tile, I want all three of these locations to have defen defensive towers that have been upgraded. Well, I can organise a feast, but as I have a negative food income, there's relatively no point. And there we are. So, I want to see where this uh, center tile goes. Um, wait for the scout to finish. For you to actually... Um... Okay, that's quite a good one to take out. So it's got this tomb, which I wouldn't mind. So once it gets to... Uh, essentially summer, I'll be able to go and take that one out. Uh, you do need to upgrade your scout camp to... Um, look at other tiles that other players have. Or to scout into them. Um, so I'm saving up to upgrade this scout camp. It will be once it gets to. Shall I use it now? Uh, so I do want to get a. 
trade and post. Longshik Dock slowly gives you money. Not much, slowly gives you money. Uh, I also want to get a brewery as soon as possible. Uh, brewery um, gives you happiness. Happiness obviously gives me more. Uh, a quicker um, troop, not troop, uh, civilians. Um, I keep forgetting what they're called. Villagers, that's what they're called. But the first and first, I'm going to upgrade this. Um, so I need this guy to hurry up and mine this 17 more deposit. Um, yeah, so I want this tile here, and I also want this fish one here. So I can get a new knowledge. So firewood consumption during winter, minus 50%. Uh, that's quite good. So I can choose another blessing from another clan. Because I've I've done this with this um, this relic. I can essentially steal someone else's... Um, Uh, you gain 50 more when close, okay. So food preservation is really good. Um, that allows me to get used food silos. So I will explain what food silos are. So food silos are this. So they, they increase the production of your... Okay, so I kind of want to get involved here. I don't want them to capture this. But it looks like they've lost the Draugr, which is good. Uh, but increases your food production on that tile. Uh, really useful if you're doing it on like a tile like this, where I've got obviously a um, field of wheat. That'd be good on there. So now I've got a reduction in happiness. I, my, I'm just not going to get any more troops, any more villagers. Yes, I know everyone's unhappy. So I'll upgrade this first. Yes, please. So my scout camp's now upgraded. And shiny happy people. Um, is what I'm going to go for and then these blessings down here I always go straight for the blessing in the middle which gives me more happiness so it's kind of warded off my requirement to um, get a brewery for a little bit longer so my scout just got hurt so I can now send my scout back where is my yeah so I can send my scout back to quickly go heal up now I can make a new scout and they can continue the good work. So you can see here, this um, going to have a Draugr invasion sh soon. So I'm going to need some troops back there. Uh, looks like these they've just got a load of shamans. Uh, but I will colonise this tile here. Although obviously I'm going to go low on food when it gets to winter. Uh, I'll, I have this tile in the middle which I can grab at some point. The uh, reason for this tile here is so I can get, uh, essentially get a defensive tower as soon as possible onto it. Um, so they can only push through this way or this way. It should buy me enough time to get my troops there. Uh, let's see where my scout out is out. Yeah, scout is out. So just leave the scout to it and he'll just go around and continue scouting uh, the, all of the enemy bases. Uh, just looking around. Um, so this is my next food source. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for now. Mind your attack. It's just the Draugr attacking. Uh, these guys will be fine. Just kite the uh, kite the Draugr a little bit and let the tower finish it off. There we go. And then send them back on. Uh, I'm going to leave her there. I'm going to send these the two cats to this one. Uh, the cat should be able to take on um, two portals. She'd be able to take on the, the final one. This magical lore, I want to use this as well. Um, and I'll be putting that on one, either that tile or this tile. Because over time it gets stronger. Uh, so more and more mobs start appearing. Um, do need an increase in money. And obviously my food has gone slightly down. So they want better houses. So to get better houses they need money. So I, I will get need to get some for money soon. So it's probably either going to be a marketplace. Oh, it'll, it'll probably be a trading post, to be quite honest. I'll be able to decide. They're both they're both as good as one another. Um, need 240 for this middle tile, which I can't which I want next. 
Uh, so my scout has found this place. Okay, we now be attacked. Okay, the cats have done well. One is tanky, the other one is not as tanky, but it's fine. And now I have enough to colonize. Colonizing this one so I can go straight into building a fishery hut. Fishery hut? Fish yeah, fishery hut. So I've got an abundance of um, abundance of wood at the moment. So I'm also gonna build a food silo here. Food silo, um, because I've stole that um, that technology. Not technology, that uh, What's this called? The law research from a previous, uh, from a different faction. Uh, it's going to be quite good for me to uh, build some um, silos. So I'm going to build another one up here. It just costs food. And send you up there. Um, so the scouts are really strange. So instead of scouting like a complete area until it's finished, they'll just keep jumping from area to area. Really annoying. So one minute they'll be. They may be searching this area here. The next minute, it'll decide to search this area down here. So it just it does jump a little, a little bit, which is probably my biggest um, gripe with this game at times. So now I want to put two villagers in here. You guys can both be fishermen. Uh, can I upgrade this? No, I don't have enough. However, I can now build a mine here. Can't build a mine. Don't have enough uh, gold. Um, however, she will then just go over here and become a merchant straight away. So I, I'd be able to actually gain some money. Um, scouts explore the new zone. So I'm just gonna, every time it, they explore a new zone, I just tell them to go and explore the next adjacent zone just to speed up the process. So money is uh, a big deal now. It's obviously flashing at me saying this needs to be fixed. And I know it needs to be fixed. Game, just wait a second, please. I can organise a feast. Yeah, I've got enough money to organise a feast just to keep everyone happy. And villagers are now on here. What do I need to upgrade this? Just stone. I would upgrade this actually. Stone and wood. I'd rather have the increase in. Um, gold, to be quite honest. Right, so I'm looking at this. Trade routes produce more. Yeah, okay, I want that one. Next. Poaching, just because it increases my merchant set. Uh, it increase increases their skill. I can now build another mine over here. Which means I can take one person off over here and it can go up there. And then I do want to build a brewery. Uh, just for the happiness of my my people. So you can go down there and build the brewery. Now I've got a couple silos up. It's worth moving your villagers to the a tile which ha already has a uh, which has a silo on it. Um, just because they they get the bonus even if they are gathering berries, they get the bonus from gathering the berries. Um, So I'm going to send him back to no longer be a scout. When he gets back, I'll, um, he should actually heal up relatively quickly, to be honest. Right, you are now going to be a scout, and this can be destroyed. Yes. So now, I, yeah, I know my clan is unhappy. Why are they unhappy? They want better houses. It's fine. To get better houses, they now need gold. And they want better houses, and they, and they need better houses. It's fine, I'll make a new house. Make a new house there, you can go. And they... It's quite expensive to... to buy stone, so... Just looking down here, so I've got the ability to... mine down here as well. So once this person has finished making this house, they go and mine this stone down here. And that will allow me to start upgrading people's houses. That's what they want. Give them what they give the people what they want.
and my next um, yeah so my next um, what's it called a villager that appears will also become a archer so I can start uh, building a, a small army but I can start building an army and I can now build a defensive structure in here as well so once she's built she builds a defensive structure first. Once she's built that, she can then build the mine. I've been mindful that I do kind of want this. Uh, just because it gives me more fame and some um, iron. Obviously, you use iron to upgrade your troops. Uh, where is my scout? You're here. So you are now number three. Once you've once he's explored that, I'm going to finish exploring up here. Although it's just two tiles and I, I only need to get to here, I wouldn't mind just seeing what's up here. Uh, so they've already explored that, which is fine. Uh, you go up here and explore this, please. So now it's going very too well. Although I do have a minus during, um, during winter, you normally have a minus during winter. Um, as long as it's a small minus, until I get this knowledge here, it's probably going to stay as a minus, to be quite honest. Um, you can... I'm just wonder where I can send this person. Oh yeah, I was going to make him a tracker, wasn't I? You can go become a tracker. You go join down here. I can right click this to select all the trackers. Um, then the next one I'll probably be putting onto my uh, brewery just to increase the happiness again. Wouldn't mind upgrading some of these or upgrading this zone. So you can upgrade your zone. So at the moment I can only build three on this on this tile. If I upgrade my zone, I can then build four. Do I have enough to colonise anyway? I don't. So if I can see further into someone's base, I can. I might start attacking up here. Thinking about. Uh, I can upgrade that. So, got towers defending my base. Um, both entrances into my base. So now I can start to annoy the enemy. You have to be careful because this is the clan of the dragon. Uh, they are very strong. So I kind of just want to. Okay, I killed one of them, I believe. So you just have to be slow and methodical when it comes to fighting them. How many more do I need? I need one more knowledge. Um. So I made it for another year. Food is a bit of a worry now. Because uh, I have no more locations that have food. Unless I capture this zone here. Uh, or I upgrade a zone which requires crowns. Which is which is more than doable. I could just buy food. It's not an issue. Um, if, if it does become an issue that is. Um, so... Oh, I could. My next villager, I'm going to put into the healer's hut just to increase the healing. Uh, upgraded medicine as well is also really useful. Uh, she can also put a mythical lore down, but I don't have the food for that at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, this is the only spot which I could move on to which gives me food. Uh, you can move up here as well. So now I'm kind of in a lull because I, I need I need more food, and unless I push into someone else's base or capture this, which I will have to capture that, I am stuck. I can buy a load of food with this and then expand. Uh, how long until winter? I've got a while till winter. So, toward the apparently. Dwarves are expecting gems. This is a new event which I've not seen before. They're expecting gems to appear. You can mine them. And you can see what this what actually happens. But I do need a new house as well. So they're still unhappy because they want better houses. So I can now upgrade some at least one house. 
If I upgrade a second house, then that will be increasing my happiness again. So where are these gems located? Okay, there's one there. There's one there. Uh, so I'm going to build a mine on this one here. And send you down there to build it. And you can go and mine it. See if, if I can at least get... If I can get one location mining, then uh, no, I should be okay. Let's bring you back. Bring you two back. And normally I didn't... I don't think I managed to kill any of them there. It's a bit annoying. I could have focused them. I could have actually made an effort. Why did this go down? Too many wounded. Yeah, that makes sense. Hopefully these mine the rock. Yeah, okay, they're mining the rock. Good. So if I can come first in this, I will do well. I'll be happy. But let's buy some food. I do want this tile here just for the extra fish. Hopefully, I can get it before winter. Uh, how much do I need to actually expand? 330, okay. This is going to be a bit interesting. Uh, so, how do I give them my. Gems. I need a trading post. Uh, you go build the trading post. Once these guys are fully healed, I'm going to go send them back in. The archers behind them, we should be okay. Uh, so if I can just whittle them down over over time, they're obviously town halls here, so I can slowly push in. I wouldn't mind this tile here because it's got four fish. If I can, if I jump from tile to tile to tile, I can steal what they've built. Yeah, let's quickly take these out. Right, run, run. So I took out two of their militia just then. Uh, the dragon clan has given them one diamond. How long do I have? Four months left. Let's see what the victory conditions are like. So, so I'm winning from the blessings of the god. I'm not winning the fame. Okay. Uh, I can now destroy that mine. Mine? Send you back to change what you are. So I need to change them into a builder. So then I can build another mine. You jump on there. Gems. Yes, you do. No, you you start. With that. Uh, I think I have two villagers here. Yeah, you can go jump in there as well. So I'm giving the gems directly to the dwarves. Over time, I'm getting a reward. My favourite reason, yeah, slowly getting a reward. The Dragon Clan, they are giving them extra, more than I am. Uh, so I might not win this one. Uh, so. What do I want to go for? I'll reduce the upgrade cost. Increases law mass production. Right. Right. I think it's probably worth me going for the defensive side of things. Um, okay, I now need to build another house somewhere as well. But I've got no food. Bugger. That is my biggest issue at the moment still. Is that enough to buy this? No, it's not enough to buy that. I need 300. How will I fix this? Well, that miner's not doing anything. That's one way of 
fix in that one. How do I upgrade this? So I don't have enough gold or enough stone. If you go down here and try and get this stone as soon as possible, you go and help him. Actually, you actually mind that thing about. If I can try and keep these guys in as long as possible. There we go. Got a couple kills out of that. Lost no troops. I might not win this, but at least I come second. It's better than nothing. Let's look around. You can work there as well. The only thing I can really do is upgrade these and hope that that's enough. I need 10. Uh, you work down here as well. Punch. There, I, I didn't earn the door's favour. It's not the end of the world. Could have done with the extra stuff, but never mind. And I, no point in me getting any more gems, so destroy you. And you can go back to being a villager. Actually, you. Uh, blah, 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 looking around, where can I put you? It's useful. They still want more houses, better houses, but I need to upgrade this. It's 10. It's 10. 10. We need more stone. So I'm just going to upgrade, try and upgrade all my buildings. Unlock the she can really call the strongest wave. Fine. What do I need to upgrade this? Okay, so I am very much in the red for food and well for everything really. Uh, I need one villager to quickly go build that so I can continue getting my troops. The speed at which they get in the stone is good. As long as if I get low on food or wood, I can very quickly just. Um... Oh no, my scout died. Never mind. Not the end of the world. Uh, so, wood, 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 wood. So he's built that so he can come down here and build this uh, lumber yard. So I can move my lumber yard from up here. Uh, down to here. So that then should give me a positive of food at least. They want better houses still, so I can upgrade this house over here at least. It gives me happiness. So now I need, still need to worry about food. How much? How expensive is this? By 5 for 70. As long as I get an increase in money, I'm, I'm relatively okay. As long as I'm, that's a positive. this is complete put you on there and the woodcutter up here can then come down here as well and I can destroy this one so that should be put me in the green for wood and uh, just thinking about what I need what I can put in my first town my first tile probably a forge might, might have to do uh, so I can actually start spending some of this iron and I can upgrade, ideally upgrade my warband. Okay, that's a bit of a worry, that Jotun. Um, so I may have to upgrade this as well. Uh, increase warband size, so build you there. I'm gonna move him away and build, and build this first. Build his archery range before he builds that. I need to build upgrade this. I need 10 stone still. How many stones here? 11. So I'll be able to upgrade a silo or one or both of these and not upgrade the silos at all. It's probably going to be the best bet. Yeah, so if I get him up there on the hunting range, 
I should get enough stone from this. It will give me the ability to upgrade the field so I can get another farmer on the field. Now, let's see if I can annoy these again. Get everyone to focus on the same mob. Okay, I killed one. <laughs> not, not amazing damage, but I killed one. That's all that matters. Yeah, you finish that. You run back up here. So I can get two more um, archers. I'm getting an abundance of stone. Uh, gold, so I can now buy some more. Um, oh, stone that uh, I can. Abundance of gold, so I can buy more stone. That's what I'm trying to say. As long as I'm, I'm technically strong enough that nobody's going to want to attack me. I'm relatively happy. And how are we looking at victory conditions? So I could still win by, um, by doing. Uh, all the law, law side of things. So I could also build another law stone to increase the speed at which I'm getting law. Um, so I can now upgrade this. Yes, please. Get you down there. You can now go on there. Do they still want better houses? No, they're, they're happy with houses. Let's see what I can forge. So, with the forge you use iron and a bit of gold to upgrade your characters essentially so I can make relics if I wanted to or make essentially make my, my characters stronger so I'm gonna make my tracker stronger I'm not gonna bother about the others so I want to make my farmers stronger as well and as well as my fishermen so that's cool. and then I'm missing five iron and 30 gold to then do the next one but I have iron in this tile just there so I'm, I'm just going to move my miners across and build another mine just double check that I'm not missing any stones anywhere sometimes they're hiding in some really weird places ok no I'm not missing any so move a villager down here to build this mine. Once the mine's been built, I'm going to just send them up here to go back to the longship dock. So he's upgrading. Okay, once he's upgraded my trackers, I'm going to make two more trackers, so I've got two more to play with. She now has this mythical lore, which I'm going to put down. I don't know what this does, so I've never used this before. Could be good. Apparently this mythical law attracts animals. Okay. And then over time, they'll drop more and more waves. You capture the spirits of the mythical animals you've hunted. You're next. What's this? I don't know what that was. I don't know what these little symbols are either. Uh, mine is complete, so... You two can go back onto the mine. The random village I've got, you can go and join and become a sailor. Which is what no one wants to hear in their life. Um, now what do I want to build? I'm kind of at an impasse here. They want better houses, so I should build upgrade a house. Do I have two healers? I don't have two healers. Let's, let's get another healer. If you want a better house, let's give them a better house. I'm now out of stone. But I am slowly getting iron, which is fine. So it'd be nice to get two more archers. Once I get two more archers, then I can then start pushing again. I don't have a scout. Just, just trying to think of what I'm missing. I don't have any scouts. Uh, so I don't know. Currently purple is probably the biggest threat. Because they're, they're doing quite well. They're 52% of the way towards a fame victory. But with a fame victory, they need to hold it 14 zones. So if I can start hitting another tribe. If I can start hitting another tribe, then I can worry about... Um, worry about the um, fame and the amount of tiles this guy owns later on. 
See, if he needs to earn 14, I can just keep hitting him and keep taking out the odd tile here and there. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, but um, you can also become a tracker. So I've now got enough to claim this tile here. I'm just about to get another mythical creature attack, so I'm not going to... I want to push down here, which I, oh, which I am pushing down here. Um, so I'm going to put another set of... I'm going to put a fisherman hut just down here. Just to secure more food. Uh, I've got one villager. One villager can go down here on his own. Uh, Warbands at max size. That's fine. You are upgrading the... Farmers, that's fine. Just trying to think. Uh, Lawmasters, how many Lawmasters have we got? Upgrade the Lawmasters next. Uh, then upgrade the Healers. Don't have any Scouts yet. Don't really care much for Miners. Uh, then Merchants. Uh, so how is this going? How many villagers have I got? So I've got you. Let's get you into being a scout. See how much that increased my food by? Oh, barely anything. Uh, I don't have any... Okay. Uh, next villager will be here soon. Now I can send him out. So I want to take out this Draugr as soon as possible. This big boy. If I can focus him. Bring you back. Bring, you, bring all of you back. Okay, I took out the big boy. Which is good. Uh, after taking in a foe kill, military units gain a increase. That's good. Plus three law over time. Um, do I have two healers? I do have two healers, so I don't need to worry about that. Mind to attack. All right, bring you guys down here. Bring them all down here. Actually, there's nothing stopping them. Hopefully, the fishermen can just uh, kite them until my army can get here. Yeah, okay, the fishermen is fine. I would, wouldn't mind taking this, so if I can get my troops close to this border, I'll watch for them trying to capture it. So you can see when they're capturing the zone. Once they're fully healed, they might... Cause these guys are the ones that are going to be doing the tanking. I'll leave the archers behind. Why am I gaining so little food? Suddenly dropped again. You guys can try and tank. You move back. Oh, nice. Got a spirit wolf. That's pretty cool. Don't know how useful that is, but it's pretty cool. So I want to increase my... This is a hard one, but I'll increase that. Right, let's get everyone back into my territory. I am not gaining very much um, wood or food. Might, I might end up having to look at upgrading my... Uh, what are they called? My wood uh, lumber yards. Uh, are they attacking my... They are. Nice. I would say nice. It's not, not ideal. I didn't, didn't realise they were attacking so soon. Um, so my two miners can go and become villagers again. Once they become villagers, they can then come back out. And... Um, 
Yeah, I need to kind of think what I want to do with them. Ooh, it got very cold then. Very, very cold. I'll upgrade at least one food silo. And I'll get you to go repair that. I'm going to look at upgrading my one of my woodcutting lodges as well. Uh, where is my scout, actually? He's down here. You scout this edge. I'm very close to actually his town hall. So I might actually be able to take him out very quickly. But I won't do that until it gets to um, essentially summer again. You can go down here and help them there. So I might struggle this winter. Yeah, so people are going to start starving. When they start starving, they start um, losing health very slowly. Which is not ideal. This one, yeah, here. Yeah. You see they've got a, a soup bowl above the head. They just slowly, they will start slowly losing health. And Scout's explored a new zone, so I have nothing to read really Wario about in that corner. And it is now almost out of winter. I'll move these guys down here because I'm going to start essentially attacking uh, when it gets to... Never mind, I've got a mythical beast on the way, so I'm going to focus on the mythical beast first. When they start starving, obviously everyone gets injured, everyone gets sick, so you need to worry. Obviously you want your healers on peak performance to try and get everyone back up as soon as possible. Now, I know we can't grow because it we're unhappy, but there's nothing I can do about that unfortunately. Uh, so they're going to, healers will be next, and then it's merchants. Let's get the males to upgrade as many as I can. And the brewers would be last. Well, the brewers are really useful, don't get me wrong, but they will be last. Annoyingly, there's not much I can do about this while I'm being attacked by mythical beasts. Nope, don't. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Just kind of need these to survive just a little bit longer until my troops can get there. And my scout died, of course my scout died. Lost a lost a tracker in that fight as well. Big sad. Right now I'm getting a slowly getting an abundance of troops again. Let's rebuild myself a new tracker. By rebuild I mean recruit. Is anyone sick anymore? So no one's sick. Um, what do I need for this? Four hundred and twenty. Trying to think where, where, and what I'm going to go for next. I have, I will have enough gold to upgrade again. So it'll be, you'll be next, and then woodcutters will be next. So I'm going to stay on this screen until I have 30 um, coins. Now I can start the woodcutters. I would normally look at building some form of. Um, what they're called, uh, oh, what are these called? Relics. But sometimes you just can't be bothered. And this is one of the times where I can't be bothered because I can just steal a relic from another, um, another race. There we go. So they tried to start capping this, so I'm just going to steal the cap off them. I can't do anything about it. I can't, I can't cap it. Well, I can cap it myself, and I probably will. It's only 420. The only thing I gain from it is, is a tomb. So I gain five more iron. 
There's no, okay, they're attacking me now. Well, one of the cats is relatively hasn't got very much health, takes a lot of damage. So I'm thinking, instead of taking this tile here, because there's no rush to take it, I'll just push um, pretty much into their base. And be really, really gutsy with this. But I'm going to go hard, I'm going to go hard. Uh, while I wait, I'm going to send my trackers up here. Um, if I cannot upgrade this yet, I need five stone to upgrade that. See how much damage you guys can do on your own without the trackers. If you can just kill one or two of them, that'd be good. Go on, take out one. There we go. Okay, this is this went well. You guys can come back down here and assist. Uh, what's this? Oh, I need you to go back up here, all my troops. The drow go decide to attack. See if you can. Okay, so while they're attacking, not the drow, but the uh, the dragon kin. So you can see they've upgraded their, in, um, their essentially their villages into demonic dragons. Let's move you away. Right, so that is a bit annoying. Uh, so I've got I need to get one more tracker, more guys on the law. Um, what am I missing now? So they captured this, so there's not really much I can do about that now. So I can now organise a feast to speed everything else up. Uh, I want to upgrade my one of my um, archery rangers. Uh, all four of you over here, please. Then I can get nimble paws, gain them extra health. And I get more stone and more... Pretty much more everything. Um, I'm going to continually be attacked here. So hopefully I can just keep kiting. There you go. That's good enough. Um, now I need to rebuild the tower in this, in this zone, so I'm going to send this villager down to rebuild. Uh, did I lose a fisherman? I did not lose a fisherman, that's good. Um, what do I now need? Just, just kind of now just filling in the blanks, hoping for the best. Right. I think having the a new healer would be good. So village is now done. So I can get another healer on there. So I just need two more villagers. I can then build a slightly bigger warband. Do they want more happiness? No, they don't. Okay. So looking at this, which we conditioned. Uh, purple getting very close to um, winning. So I just need to be careful of that. So I will intend, I'll quickly go down here and try and wipe out yellow. So I am essentially two tiles away from their main base. Uh, once I get two more villages, or two more archers that is. Once I complete the brewer and then the woodcutter, I can then destroy the forge as well, so I won't need it. You can now jump there. Oh, what do I need to upgrade? So I need stone. Yeah, I need five stone. I only buy three at the moment. 
one villager done. Let's get you recruited. Uh, can I destroy this to stop them, them coming? I can. Let's destroy this so I don't have to worry about continually having to fight random enemies coming at me. That's four. So I just need one more stone from this um, so that this slowly regenerates over time, uh, the stock that is. See if I can start taking out that army before it gets to winter. If I can decap a zone or two, that'd be great. To decap zones, well, to take tiles off them, you essentially just stand in them and they slowly lose this ring. Alright, so it's winter, not actually losing any food, which is great. So, we are now capturing the stone. Hopefully, well, we will be able to get it in time. Uh, it's winter. Taking a hit on the... On the old... Um, it's called woodcutters. And we are under attack. Which makes sense because we're attacking their zone. We're just, we're just annoying them a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to colonise it because there's nothing of use there. Uh, so once I'm going to move these guys out, get them healed up in this location here. I'm going to move them down to take these ruins once they're all healed up. Um, may as well organise a feast. Uh, buy this last stone I needed and upgrade this defensive town. I'm not too interested in this ceremonial bonfire. I'd rather just try and uh, push to some form of win. Um, so I don't need the forge anymore. Would be nice to have a another scout so I don't actually see the entire map yet. Uh, I can send these guys in now. Now I have um, well, six archers, should make life slightly easier. Just looking at what they've got here. I haven't really got anything. No, they've got loads of iron here. Um, we've got some stone here. Okay, they've got a, a lore there. I don't really have much food, so I want this tile down here to grab the food and the lore. This tile I'm on now doesn't really offer very much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah fine. So while I'm fighting, there's a chance of spawning, um, what are they called? Spiritual animals, which are pretty good. So they've got this giant, whatever this, this is, giant wolf. But that wolf doesn't seem to want to fight. Uh, so now I've captured the zone. Uh, they're now fighting over it. They're now fighting back, I should say. Oh, we're nearby territories and oh okay so they took the cobalts attacked this territory annoyingly um, so that means I've just lost two troops you two can come down here and as this tile is fine I can now colonize this tile get really nice up and close and personal with them I do want to use you to... What's this? Shaman camp? Okay, I don't really care much for shaman camp. I'm going to let, let these builders just, just burn off. Uh, actually, I can destroy them to get the wood back. As I, do, as I don't actually own a shaman camp, I couldn't use that in the previous one. Looks like they're being overworked, so they're actually losing a lot of health, which is good. Uh, and then 
Look at this push into this tower here. Let's move you back. So when you move your unit back, they just essentially start attacking the next nearest enemy, the next nearest troop. So it's quite easy just to just to take advantage of their AI. There we go. Now put the archers at the front. You guys can sit at the back. Should have one villager now. Yes, I've got one villager. Uh, you can come all the way down here. It looks like they're attacking there again. Which is really, really annoying. Okay, run away, run away. Come on. And get my A team to go finish them off. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, However, not the end of the world. Um, just get another, another tracker. And get you organised and bring you all down here. This I can now pay for. And I brought a villager down here somewhere, didn't I? I think I got a spare villager, yes. So I paid for this, so I can come down here. And I can repair. I don't really want a scout camp. I don't really want to forge. Altar of Kings is really useful, so I'm going to repair this. And obviously having a farm is really useful. Uh, as I've got a couple spare villagers here, I'm going to send two down. Actually, I can use all three, thinking about it. So they will, they will slowly use, lose this tile as well on this left side. Uh, so you can fix everything. So I've got a plan for all of those guys going down there. Uh, I do have one uh, villager left. You can go back to fishing here. Um, now I've got some more lore. Need two more lore to essentially finish up, you know, all this off. We'll repair the Altar of Kings. You guys are going to go straight into the farm. Um, and then I'm going to build a food silo here. How much stones in there? So I'm going to take uh, that. Was, I was going to take that, but there is a defensive tower there, so I'm just going to leave it be. There's no point. So I'm relatively safe from purple um, because I've got this dragon's roost in the way. Um, so I will have to push through because no one tends to attack the kobolds, so attack, uh, attack the neutrals. So green is probably the, the biggest threat at the moment. Once he's finished building that, I'll be able to uh, put him into the lore stone, the rune stone. Uh, which makes me think I can put... No, okay, that one's already done. They want better houses, which means they want more stone. Uh, I'll build you a better house, it's fine. And you can go and work here. How's it going down here? So you are now finished, so you can now work this rune stone. Now I just need to take out the last of this this clan. Oh, it's a lot of them. Um, they very quickly killed my my hero. And now they're gonna. This one right there was really powerful. There we go. Was really powerful. It did take out two of my, um, annoyingly took out two of my villagers. Won't take long to get them back. Uh, I think actually I can replace them straight away. And then another villager here. Go down there and into there. So how long do I have to wait? So I have to wait a bit of time. However, my troops are already fully healed. Their troops are not. So I'm just going to just take out more of them. Yeah, I've taken out all of their combat troops, so therefore I'm already capturing the zone. The scout was injured. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. There's a whole, whole area of the map which no one's explored, because, well, green could get down there, granted. 
but no one's explored because of the neutrals are blocking the way. Okay, that is not worth taking. This is not worth taking either. Although they do have this, but I don't think I can actually use that. So that's uh, them being defeated. Not gonna, not gonna worry about actually taking anything of theirs. Just gonna regroup uh, up here to the north. So another archery range would be quite nice. Uh, just up there, and you can go repair it. So this will be a good uh, tile to take as well because he's got an altar of the kings already waiting there. Is this just a Jolga camp? Uh, it's, it's a mix of Jolga and it's a bit of iron. So I may have to put a tower on this tile as well. So once I've got this woman back up as well. Uh, it won't take long. I might put another law down just so I can carry on getting some hunter trophies. Send that, I could just buy a load. And this is now complete, so I could buy another tracker. I need to buy so four more. Iron, which I don't, uh, for my stone, which I can't afford just yet. Well, I can afford it, they just don't have them in stock. Now, what do I need to recruit this woman back? 150, yeah, I've got enough coins for that. Um, so he's decided to attack the Wyvern. I'm not sure whether it's the smartest idea. However, it is has got low health now. So that would be good to, if I can take that out. Um, do have a spare villager so you can go I'll, I, will, I will try and take that out um, let's get all my trackers together I think I can take that out as long as he doesn't regen ok he's regenerating health now so I have to speed this up ok yeah I've got this should move these guys about a little bit. Okay, let's get you back to start healing. Right, so over winter, still gaining food. I'm not gaining wood, but I can just organise a feast and I'll be gaining wood now. It's now killed the wire bone. I'm not, not too. Oh, they killed the woman again. No. Never mind. Um, let's buy some more wood. Uh, so I can upgrade this one. And then I can send you on your way back to... I've got nine trackers so far. So I did steal that kill, which is quite good. So now I am victory conditions. I am near enough winning so I just need to own two more zones and I will win and there's two zones right here I can go capture uh, so yeah you can snowball very, very quickly in this so blessings of the gods um, lore wise I'm two lore um, two lore recipes down I'm very close to that as well but I'll probably go for the fame victory so I'll just colonize two more zones There's no real quick way of doing this, I just have to essentially wait. Um, I am going to get rats, so I'm going to lose a load of my food sometime soon. I don't know whether there's any way I can stop Purple's lore, because obviously their lore is getting pretty close. All I need to do is obviously earn, earn two more zones. 650, yeah, okay, we, we should be okay, we should be okay. Gonna annoy, annoy Green a little bit. 
Ooh, I took a lot of damage walking into there. Why did I take a load of damage? Not sure. Yeah, that was a lot of damage I took. Just for no reason. Not sure why. But hopefully, uh, Green continued to attack. Purple. Not pretty, not particularly sure why Purple's doing so well with Law. Looks like they've got one Law Stone and two Law Stones up here. Oh, that's why they've got this. That's quite a big, quite a big uh, game changer. Anything I can do to speed this up? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, yes, there is actually. I can build some more. Uh, I can upgrade these silos, which is requires 10. Upgrade this zone. Build another silo here. Uh, yes, so this is going to speed this up. I've got rats, annoyingly. I'm not sure how much damage the rats are going to do to me. Uh, the scout's died, yeah, I'm not too worried about the scout. Just need to get food as much as quick as possible. Hey, I bought a load of food just then. Um, so that's one more tile. Um, just double check this goes. Because he is very close to winning now, so this is very tight. I just now need to earn one more zone. Uh, can I build another silo down here? That I can. Uh, that villager go down here, build that silo. Um, hopefully, we can catch this up. Hopefully. Or oh, 94%. Oh, this is going to be close. How much do I need to get the next zone? 780. Boy, it's going to be very close. Under attack, okay. You guys just, just, just survive. Um, I need to hold on to these tiles. These, uh, these areas. So, annoyingly, there's going to be no retreat. If I lose these, I will lose the game. I need the turret, or the tower, to do as much damage as possible. They managed to win that fight, that's good. Come on, you can win this. Uh, let's just get any of these upgrades, it doesn't really matter. Uh, can I buy more food? I can, just a little bit of food. Right, how close are we now? It's on 97%. Come on, come on, come on. 800 more. Uh, no, I don't need 800 more. I need um, 280 more. Uh, can I buy food off here? Uh, food. I need to buy, not sell. Okay, looks like I can't sell any food. This is going to be close. Very close. Every little, every little food will help. 100 more. 180. I hope, I hope I can get this in time. Come on, so close. 20, 10, colonize, oh no, no go colonize, I double clicked it and that, that may lose it for me, that may win it for me, this is really tight, no, me double clicking lost it for me, I'm a, I'm a moron, well that is uh, Northgard, <laughs> I think I deserve that win. That's just me being a bit, uh, 
That's a bit annoying. Let's look at statistics. Um, let's look at just my statistics, shall we? Yeah, my food. You can see these huge plummets and drops. Obviously, my defeat at the end. My military obviously dropped at the end because I just let it all die uh, in that fight. Okay, that is sad. I deserve to win that. Um, I knew me double clicking by accident would have been the end of it. But that was Northgard. A really, really enjoyable strategy game. It's a. Uh, it's not just about combat, it's not just about building up your base and surviving, it's, it's a culmination of everything and I really enjoy it. And this is probably one of my favourite strategy games um, that, I've, that I've actually played in a very long time. So I would recommend it. Uh, so if you have made it this far and watched my epic fail, uh, thank you much for watching. Wouldn't mind leaving a like, maybe a subscribe, that'd be awesome. And I hope to see you in the next Sunday fun day or the next episode of anything really. Uh, have a wonderful day and uh, peace out.